And this is a combination meeting of the Finance Committee and Select Board. And we've taken this route to, uh, to make it a little more uh, friendly for all the departments so that they only have to um, give one pre presentation and we can get a better sense of um, what our needs are on both sides of the aisle here. So um, to start with, um, minutes of the February 6th meeting. I make a motion to accept the minutes of the February 6th meeting. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Passed. We had to do the 27th, too. And so moved. Second. Second. And the 27th. I make a motion okay. we accept the meetings okay. of, or the minutes of the February 27th meeting. Also. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Yeah, I saw that March 6th. Okay, all right, uh, tonight's agenda, we have the library, general government, insurance and benefits. Uh, we'll also go to the personnel committee recommendations on salary adjustments and cost of living adjustments. And um, so at the top, why don't we go right into the library? Hello. Um, for those of you who might not know me yet, you probably all do, I'm Candace, Roger Turner, the director. We also have Sheila Powers and Jim Ross, one of the trustees. Um, I had sent Brian and Janet um, some notes about the budget. So if you take a look at that, just want yes. to know if you have any questions or comments. It seems like the utilization is darn good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what's your take on that? Yeah, um, well, definitely since we joined the, the um, network, the CW Mars network, that has just been a wonderful thing for the residents who were able to get materials from other libraries just by coming to our library. Right. So I think that's helped a lot in bringing people in. And also our materials are lent out to other libraries, so it yeah. makes our collection valuable. Can you just give us a little overview of what you see coming down, what, what your plans are for the library um, yeah, um, operationally? Actually, sure. Um, right now, working on a strategic plan, or we're working on a strategic plan, and we're actually going to be meeting about that on Thursday, going over the first draft that I submitted to the trustees. And it's kind of um, a mix of more of the same, what works, and then how we can expand upon that. And what we're doing from that is we've had community input sessions, we've had two physical and one survey. And so from that, we're gathering uh, from that feedback what's wanted. And a lot of that is, um, you know, just keep diversifying the collection, keep, um, anytime there's new digital materials, some of the things that people can uh, download, um, to make sure that people are aware of that and have access to it. Um, make sure we have programs that suit everyone, especially for children and seniors. Um, we want to try hard to get as much handicap accessibility as we can, so you know, there's going to be a lot of assessment. Not really plans to do that, because we have to assess and see how that's going to go. Um, collaboration within the town and with the larger community so that we can pool resources with other libraries or other town departments or uh, local nonprofits to do um, programs and services together. So those seem to be the, the, the main points. But I would have more information for you once the strategic plan is finished in a couple months. Yeah. yeah that's great. Uh, so I think it's important, you know, from Mars perspective that mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're talking about a library here. Yes. And, you know, you know, we look at libraries now and say, geez, what do we need libraries for? Right. And that's what we ask right now is these things, you know, you're gonna come up with a strategic plan and all these things. But to come to us when you're when you're looking for mm -hmm. for things to say, it, it is viable. Yes. You know, it, definitely viable and, and keep keeping track of the numbers that we're always that, that I think that's the important thing is mm -hmm. and, and you know, we've talked about that before, mm -hmm. is that yes, it looks like it's viable. And it's, you know, every town we, we want to have a library, but mm -hmm. you know, how much money do we want to invest in this thing when our right. roofs are falling apart and our basements are falling apart? So uh, just to, you know, with being somewhat new, mm -hmm. that's what I think would be an important thing for you is to, to track to track that oh, yeah. um, and to see how how continual viability to that. Oh, sure. um, so yes. that's my, my two cents on, on oh, that. Yes. Yes. Say, I did notice that um, you were hoping to increase petty cash to $200. Mm -hmm. And you, you, you did not go 
build that into the budget? That was a discussion that I had recently with the trustees, so there wasn't time before the deadline for the budget. Mm -hmm. So it's something I was going to talk about tonight. Um, okay, good. Yeah. Well, basically, um, petty cash serves for you know um, small purchases. Usually, it's for um, things that you get for events, whether it's like supplies, food, what have, what have you. And in those times where we have, um, like especially in the summer, when we have a concentration of events and services, that we can go through that pretty quickly. So it's just nice to know that we have a, a, a solid buffer when we have those concentrated times of the year where we do make more purchases for those things. It makes all the sense in the world. Um, what else? Um, there's really no increase in the budget. It's pre pretty much flatlined other than the general library is up 3%. And that's, you know, I think we have to be happy with that. Are there, are there <coughs> questions or? Um, Where are you seeing 3%? I've seen the Library budget overview. Library salaries, salaries zero flat. Percent. And then general library is at uh, Okay, okay overall. Yes, 3.47. 3.47 over, 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 over. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, uh, it's certainly absorbable. Uh, tr the trustees, are you guys feeling that we're getting the value out of the library that you hope we, we would get? I'm very satisfied with that problem. I'm running for re-election, too. <laughs> <laughs> How much of your own money is built into this, any? Yes, well, into the municipal piece of this? Not, not into the, what's the, I guess the question is, what's your total budget? I mean, you're asking for 68, 7, 66 from yes. us, mm -hmm. but you have other. We, we have an endowment that we, some of it is not expendable, some is expendable. It's all based on what interest is, is earned. Okay. And we do use that uh, for <coughs> usually maintenance repairs. Um, we would use it for an emergency. Um, and that's, so we, we try to preserve the, the endowment and, and not tap into it <coughs> a lot. It's not a candy jar. Oh, no. So we, we, we protect that very closely. You know? and, uh, and now that we've been uh, very so fortunate to have the, have the Bob Duda's uh, endowment, yeah. um, which is a, it's not part of a special revenue account, it is, it is a private foundation. And I, unfortunately, I don't have all the details on it, but there is a board of trustees on this foundation, so that, and it only can be used for maintenance. Oh, really? That's all, it's, it's specifically for maintenance, but uh, hopefully in the coming weeks, we will get more information on how to access it. I don't know if it's interest only, I don't know. I have no clue. It hasn't been released yet. Okay. Any further questions? Any other issues that you'd like to bring up? Are you satisfied with the budget as oh, it yeah. is? And yeah. We're, and we're good to go. Yes. Thank you very much right. for coming. Yes, thank you. And uh, let's have another good year. Yes, looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> General government. Um, Brian, can you lead us in this? Sure. Well, I think Lynn and I can lead you in this. <coughs> take the high points and uh, do we just want to go through and take turns, or do you want to cover yours? I that's I don't. Have I'll cover mine and you cover yours. Okay. That's a CYA. <laughs> Keep it in order. So we yeah, can we put in order of the sheets? Yeah. Yes. yeah, let's keep it in order. Yep. <clears throat> okay, we must be first. Administration budget. Administration budget. So in terms of salaries, there was a small decrease <coughs> in salaries because there was a uh, pay differential um, <coughs> between for the uh, for the assistant and You'll see later, though, when we talk about the personnel committee stuff, there was a uh, the pay increase voted, so that's not going to stay mm -hmm. um, negative. Um, in terms of the, the general select board administration, he doesn't show up here, but I've been trying to uh, 
uh, weed out some of the stuff that's, that's just not happening anymore um, and get the cost more accurate as to what's being spent. If we need to shift things into other budget categories, we're trying to do that. For instance, a couple of these things, vehicle registrations, gas permits, employment poster, in the vehicle registration, gas permits, we don't have those costs. No. Um, so it's just trying to clean up the budget a little bit. Um, there was some, there was, well, $750 added to between the dues and meetings and mileage and meetings line. If you look at FY17, um, that's more than, than what's being. Um, yeah. You spent more than you're asking for. So uh, that's <coughs> a little bit. Other than that, it's, it's just trying to really <coughs> tighten up the budgets in terms of what we're actually spending money on. So what about the select board? This Memorial Day band item comes up a lot. And I checked with uh, Becky Kavanaugh um, at Frontier, and she says, for the, if the Frontier Band is going to play at, at a town parade, the town is responsible for paying the transportation of one bus from the school to um, to wherever the parade is happening. Um, sure. But that's reduced a little bit because the costs haven't been $400. They've been less than that. So. Legal counsel and financial advisors. This this is a guess every year as to how much we're going to spend on attorney's fees. Yeah. If, if there's a lawsuit, it's going to be higher. If there's not a lawsuit, uh, it's going to be lower. One of the things uh, I've tried to do is, in the past, at least when I've been here, we have we have a recording fee for a deed or something it comes out of the select board budget. All this stuff seems to be coming out of the select board budget, but I wanted to get specific and start categorizing things to, to where they really belong. And legal and recording fees, um, those are things that, that we may have to pay. Um, it, it was funny because if we paid the attorney to do it, seventy, you know, we paid the attorney to do it, then you you, you charge it to the town council line. If you charge, if you if you did it yourself, you charge it to the select board line. Well, let's just get it all in one spot where we know okay. all what's happening here. Um, again, financial advisors. This past year it was really helpful to have some. No funds available for a financial advisor to hire a Beth Green Flat right. from Deacon Integrated Strategies who helped us with the negotiate the terms of the pilot agreement for the Anakoski and the, the uh, so yeah, the, the, other, the other one. Two, two next amps. Yeah, the two next amp agreements and mm -hmm. we had we were able to negotiate significantly more money over the twenty year term. Even the first year I think we, we negotiated I think it was fourteen thousand dollars. Greater payment in the first I, year. I mostly read the number per year. Well, she, she paid for herself. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No yeah. doubt about it. It was yeah. tremendously helpful to have somebody with knowledge on our side instead of just saying thank you to next <laughs> amp. Um, Do we pay? To, we have a, I assume we have a legal counsel on retainer. Yeah, it's, it costs yeah. X amount of money just to have them for the year, or? No, I don't believe so. It's okay, we just pay them when we need them. Yep. So that uh, I took out a little bit of money because I I don't know that we're going to spend that much. Um, so and it's just an estimate. Town office advice is uh, is the same amount. It's something that that Mary Ellen keeps track of and does all the ordering. This was combined in FY17. Each each of the departments, each of the budget, each had their own office supply line item. We just consolidated it. So that. The audit, there's a, you see there's a reduction there from the past year. With the payoff of the USDA loan, for we had a USDA loan for this building, it required an annual audit. Now we don't need now that. We, now we'll do it every two years. Oh, okay. So the audit coming up this year was, was it is gonna cost 14,000. Mm -hmm. So I broke it out, tried to break it out for two years, assuming they're gonna increase it a little bit next year. Okay. Town reports, the same at 500. Town building operations. We talked about this a little bit. We talked about this at the at the select board meeting. And one of the new items here is trying to bring on a custodian, a part time custodian, um, at six hours a week at um, fourteen eighty seven. That's the same rate as the private right custodian. Uh, here it is. Back right here. Looks like this. 
right now the way that our buildings are maintained is the hot, at least this building and we'll have the town hall coming on and we'll be taking we'll be retaking ownership of the center school once the historical society moves to the town hall right now there's the highway guys come do them come for essentially one hour on fridays pick up the trash do a little bit of sweeping the mop once in a while other than that there's really no ongoing maintenance of this building okay so what's what's the it's time? housekeeping what's what you're talking about not what made it's right. housekeeping right yeah 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 well what's the timeline for getting that person in uh well this would be this budget would be effective july 1. <coughs> you have, you have how many hours a week yeah. well we're guessing six it's really hard i don't, I don't really have a good idea of what it's going to be um, is it the same person that you're looking at expanding with the, the library oh, and the, I, I think that would be our first awesome. our first offer would be yep. to, to combine them and i talked to keith about this and he was okay starting with the, with the six hours they would still come they would still come truck the trash out um but there's a lot of deferred maintenance that we can see even in this room you have the ceiling tile and it's you know it's got a big water stain on it and so so it is more than just housekeeping i think it is yeah oh i thought you meant in terms of the, what the highway guys are doing now no i was just like what you're looking for is it housekeeping just somebody coming in emptying the trash back in the carpets you know clean the windows i'd like to see a little bit more yeah. but I, maybe like see, i'd like to see some more light maintenance too yeah. like change out the stained ceiling change out the stained ceiling tile change out the library light maintenance or light maintenance Oh, yeah, like the the <laughs> there are some places where we have window inserts that go in. Was it inserts? Well, the, 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 the storm windows. The town hall. The town hall will have that. Right, 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 right. So, right. so that kind of clean up that. I envision some flexibility in the hours in the position. If there's something that happens at the town hall and there needs to be some cleanup afterwards or breaking down or setting up, it just. So I, I guess the question is, so we're, we've got six hours at, sorry, how many are at the library? Two. I believe it's, it's two. I think it's two. I just want to make, wondering whether it, you know, we roll this into different buildings and we all of a sudden we're looking at a benefited position. Yeah, that's what we're trying to avoid. Well, that would be, so that would be eight hours total. Um, do you think the other 20, 20 is the, 20 is the, 19 is what you need to stay for an hour below. So right now this is going to be an eight-hour position. It may become, it may quickly become a ten-hour position. Or more. And are you going to be able to find somebody? Yeah. That so you know, one person can vacuum and they can mop and everything, but can they, right. you know, change the ballast and the light? And can they, you know, I don't, I don't know. The, the other option may, may be to add on to the school. The school has a part-time custodian. No. I don't. I don't think they're benefiting though. But. No. That's going to get guys. That's too messy. So. Yeah. yeah. On to that, I don't you know. It'd be the same person. You know. Well, it'd be good if it was a single person for all three town buildings downstream, so that you're dealing with one individual for all three buildings. And you're not going in between. Well, I, and I, I, I agree that it's, it's, you know, whatever the number is. You know, I'm, I'm somebody who, you know, comes from, you know, you build buildings, but nobody ever builds in the budget to take care of the buildings, you know, the people or whatever yeah. it is. So, you know, they, they don't take care of themselves. So, I mean, other than the making it a non-benefited position, you know, I mean, I support whatever we're <coughs> looking at, whatever we feel that we need. Yeah. Green. So other items in here? It occurred to me today, so you have to look at the uh, There's a revised, they have the revised one in the packets, the revised town building yes. ones in the packet. Yeah, you should have it too. Um, yep. And I sent this out by email. It occurred to me that we're not, we don't have any need for propane anymore. Uh, the only one building that used propane was the town hall, that's going to the electric committee splits. But we're going to be retaking the kind of the management and custody of the center school back from the historical society when they swap out. So we're going to have to start paying the utilities for that building, and that building is uh, heating oil. And I don't know where the line item was in here before, but I added a line item for for number two fuel oil here. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, okay. That's the forty-eight hundred. Yeah, right. and that's and that's based on the usage when it when the town last occupied the building. Hopefully, it'll be a lot less. Um, 
but I, I don't know exactly what it'll be. So well, how do we get that? How, how do we find out what we have to do with that building to like mothball it? Yeah. Um, imagine just. Dan, what do we have to do to block Yeah, Dan, what do we have to do? <laughs> uh, we should be able to shut it down. The paint's already peeling inside, so it's not like you've got to worry about that. So, no, they just drain everything down. Okay. Water. Yeah. Water. Drain the water shut back water. and shut it off. Yeah. Well, I think first yeah. you'd, have to, you'd have to wait for the historic society to move all this. No, I, I mean, I, well, whatever. But I just like saying when the building goes vacant, what do you, you know, what do we do? Just... The other thing you have to yeah. consider is insurance. And insurance. Um, insurance will right. go up. Right. Go up. Right. Yeah. A vacant building is more to ensure than. Right. Well, it's like the like the blue school. I mean, they somebody goes there once or twice a week, so they're saying they're using it. And there's a person going there, uh, looking through files or whatever. So. Well, we'll whatever he does. So, yeah. yeah, we yeah. can keep some but, files down there. But but they keep the heat at a certain temperature possible. in that building, whether they're, they're there or not. So I guess you would have to hear as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm supposing that downstream we're going to have some type of a meeting concerning all of the, the properties and what the movement of those properties are going to be in the future future whether or not it's the, the buildings and or to my own property and, and see how we can bring those monies back into the town. So one is already in the works. Yeah. The blue school, so we'll see what we Right. right. Yeah. So, okay. I mean, that's, that's, if you'll see there's a new item for special projects, and that's, that's to appropriate a little bit of money for exactly that. Um, okay. We need the Title Five at the Mayo. Because we want to find out if the septic's still good, or we want to do. I don't know if you would do it because it's that's a whole but um, or we need a survey done. Or we need to um, put out an RFP. We need to do advertising. There's all sorts of things. All, all costs that are going to come up that we need to have a little bit of money to, to move these to move these properties. Sure. Do you think that's enough for your special projects? You just go back to free cash. Yeah. And you go yeah, it's hard. It depends. It depends I mean, on how on how fast you know these yeah. things happen. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> the other okay. one that's kind of a wild card going forward with with the town hall being over the electric mini splits is what the electricity what the total electricity would be. Yeah, a five thousand dollar difference right there between both. In FY17, or yeah, roughly around five thousand um, dollars. I don't know if that's going to be enough. It obviously depend on the usage at the usage of the town hall, which we don't have a good handle on right. at this point. What's winter maintenance? That is the so the town does the um, snow plowing. The snow plowing. They don't do the walks. Uh, um, we have a local landscaping company who does that. Here, here, they'll, they'll be doing it at the town hall. Um, they don't do it at the school. No. What do they do, library? Mm -hmm. Might have to mm -hmm. check. Do you bid that out? I think the um, yeah. Yeah, because that the is the library. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was bid out. Yeah, you get three bids or something to sign it. Okay. okay. <clears throat> good. Yeah, I'm good. All right. Child clerk. Um, one of the changes that I'm suggesting is Mary Ellen has been kind of serving as assistant town clerk. Um, and she is, turn as she's turning over some of her tasks to Janet, she won't be actually using those five hours that are now attached to the selectman's budget. So it, putting her into my, as an assistant town clerk in the town clerk budget made sense. She's doing a lot of those tasks already. 
and it, it made sense to pay her for those. So that's one of the things I'm uh, requesting. As far as my um, general pal clerk budget, it's an election year, so there'll be additional election costs, and that's why that item is up by $2,000. Part of um, the elections is also the fact that the Secretary of State has um, proposed, it's not finalized, but I had the budget for it because I wasn't <coughs> sure <laughs> if it was going to go through or not, uh, early voting for the primary. You know, there's going to be early voting for the November election, but there may also be early voting for the September primary. So I had to add some items for that budget. Um, the Boards and Committees program I had bought last year, um, and the only thing now that I have is some maintenance. I have a yearly maintenance fee for both the Boards and Committees and the Public Records uh, programs that I have. Um, I also, let's see, one of the other changes is I eliminated the code update because that's all being taken care of in the special project we have for the, the code of Waitley. So that was eliminated. However, I did increase my archive and records line a little bit just because I'm going to be, as I move things into the vault, I want to make sure everything's labeled properly. So I need some supplies for labeling and that yeah. kind of stuff. How's that going? You it's almost done. They're just trying. Uh, the next step is to test the fire suppression system. Once that's tested, then we can start moving things into the vault. So they were just here today Great. doing an upgrade on the fire panel so that they can attach the vault. So we're getting there. <laughs> it's been kind of a long haul. And the town accountant, um, uh, that's kind of set by the Franklin Regional Council of Governments. Uh, the only thing that we do is we add some processing um, under Harper's, which is, I'm sorry, Town accounting is, is set. Under Harper's, Harper's um, is our payroll service, right. and they have increased some of their fees um, with uh, producing W-2s and the um, ACA requirements that we have, the Affordable Care Act. So that's why that's increased. And uh, payroll processing increased a little bit as well. Um, the accounting software is just, uh, we pay, the Franklin Regional Council of Governments a portion for our, our accounting software program. The treasurer collector budget. Did you have any questions on any of those others? Um, basically, it's going down a little bit, so, <laughs> so it's not too bad. Um, the major changes, uh, it really isn't. Too much. I just deter I don't use the go, the point access. Go to my PC. That I don't get billed for that anymore. So that went down. My bond is actually less than I was budgeting, so I lowered that as well. Um, book binding. I I just haven't uh, done that because I'm putting everything into three ring binders instead. And anything that needs to be saved permanently will just stay in those three ring binders. Um, the amount of mail that goes out of this place, we don't have a postage meter. That's it, one of the line items you in the town stamps. building budget. Well, we, <coughs> I order, one. I order postage um, envelopes that have the postage on them. Yeah. Uh, but. One of the items in the town building's budget is a postage meter. So, why did I think we had one? We have a um, sealer, but it doesn't uh, do postage. Got a liquor. It, yeah, we have a liquor. We, we do call it a liquor. <laughs> the liquor. The liquor. Your dog stands there with his tongue out. <laughs> but that has kind of fault. It's been kind of eating the envelopes lately. So uh, we decided maybe we ought to bite the bullet with a postage meter. Buy a postage meter, then you can buy postage online or how? well um the postage meters we can get have the ceiling all in, yeah, in one. one thing and you program it to um just whatever you punch in a few buttons and it'll automatically put the postage on an envelope you know, 49 and cent tax bills however many of them yeah. out the door yeah 
1,500 at a time. Yeah. So oh. <laughs> it, it takes a little while to uh, seal all of those. But um, the, the other thing with the postage meter, even though we're going to be, there's the cost involved in renting a postage meter, yeah. uh, you get a three cent reduction for each. In postage. Yeah. So, and then you don't have to buy the specialized envelopes. You could, we're looking into the jail actually printing envelopes with the return yeah. addresses mm -hmm. on them. Um, and we'll save there too. So I'm hoping that we'll almost offset one another. The savings from the um, the three cent savings per yeah. per envelope, yeah. along yeah. with the um, less for the envelopes themselves, because we're getting to, to the postal service right now, that will kind of even out in the long run. So. Is there, were there any questions on the treasurer collector budget? It's pretty straightforward. Okay. And tax taking, this is one budget that I have increased a lot. Um, I have been trying to slowly work my way towards actually foreclosing on some properties so that we will bring them to auction eventually. We have some owner on known properties that we need to do title searches on before we can actually put them, those out. We can foreclose and put them out um, for an auction. So, and one of the, I mean, we have the DeMaio property. We have a number of, of properties that are lined up and ready to go, but we do have a few more, and I'd like to get a whole group of them together. And in order to do that, I have to do some groundwork with title searches and things like that. Make sure they're clear titles and mm -hmm. everything is now, do dotted. Do you do the title search or you have somebody? I have some, a yeah. title search company do it, yeah. They can do them a lot quicker than I can. Yeah, I, <laughs> I mean, I try to do certain things with it, but um, they're just, that's their, their line of work, so. <laughs> And that's it for mine there. Lynn, the legal advice that you mentioned here that may be needed, is that different than the town council legal fees? It is. Um, these are all, I have a special tax attorney who handles, this person also monitors like bankruptcies for me. She will keep track of if someone's in bankruptcy, I can't proceed with anything, but it's hard for me to keep track you know, she has all the connections in order to find out where a bankruptcy stands. So she does those kind of things. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's separate above and beyond the legal counsel. Right. So that's adequately funded? I upped it a little bit for this coming year, anticipating the need for those additional uh, title searches and that kind of stuff. Are people paying their taxes or are we that list gets the longer, usual, it's the same ones all the time. It's the same ones that go to, I mean, I have, a, I have a selection that are in tax title. There's probably, there's, as, most of it's land. Yeah. There's presently three homes that I have tax statements on. And they, they, they have won't ignored or me can't. all together. <laughs> well, you, you try to make them uh, like a payment. I try to set up payment plans with people, and most of the time, uh, they just ignore me. So the, then the next step is having um, my tax attorney attach it. Well, it, they are already we oh, already have liens on them. Okay. Um, we have tax. We, they're in tax style. But sometimes, if the letter comes from the an attorney. Instead of the town clerk. Instead of the treasurer collector, it gives more of an impression. So um, that's my next step. But I only have three parcels that are actually homes. The rest of them are all Piece of pieces of land. So, and one of them, one of the homes we've already <coughs> once and foreclosed, but he came through with money at the last minute, so we let him have the property back. Uh -huh. Well, it's back in the same boat. So uh, this time I don't think it's gonna, he's not gonna be able to get it back unless he pays it up, you know, before it goes into foreclosure. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Yeah. It is. Um, you know, and I, I do have payment plans. I probably have, I have four <coughs> payment plans 
out right now, and, and people are pretty good about them. They, you know, I, the thing with the payment plan is they have to be realistic. Uh, you know, if somebody pays the $25 a week for their $7,000 for $25 a month for a $7,000 bill, they aren't going to get very far. So I, uh, you know, they have to be reasonable. I usually kind of calculate it, and they're supposed to say current. That's the hardest part. Yeah. The, the newest tax bills, they're supposed to be paying those currently. Yeah. The, that's the rough part for most people, to pay that back stuff and then also keep current on the current. So, but... We're working at it. <laughs> okay. okay, as long as it's not, you know, I, I, not growing. I, yeah, I don't want it to, to grow or get out of hand. That one, not that it'll get out of hand, but. There, there are, um, there's been a few uh, accounts out there that have had some issues with them that we're trying to clean up, and then we'll be able to take those. Because um, I do have some accounts going back to 2018. <clears throat> yeah, okay. Um, there's four, but they all belong to the same person. So, and there were some questions. That's one of those that I had to have a tax title done on before I could proceed for tax taking. So there's reasons behind those, um, but yeah. they will go this year. All right, then. That's good. Who's next? The next one's the assessors. Right. Um, it's pretty much the same as, pretty much the same as last year. 0.112 percent increase. That's You'll notice the uh, the, the revaluation. I believe it was last year, two years ago. The the revaluation cycle went from two years, two years, three, three, years, three, three years. years to five years now. So you can see those those costs are going to be spread out a little bit more. That's just a Aren't we in the middle of one now? Yes. Yeah. Aren't we we are. We, we just finished the a cycle. You mean revaluation yeah, cycle? Not a year. We finished one last year. Last year, so you're into year two. Okay. Going into year two. Okay. Planning boards, same. Planning board of appeals is the same. Planning board is the same. Finance committee. Got to got to watch this board here. Always. Moderators the same. When was the last time he had a raise? It was the last time he actually collected a paycheck. He doesn't. He doesn't even get his paycheck or he doesn't, he doesn't cash it? Let's give him a thousand. Let's <laughs> 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 <was> more raise. <laughs> Is it, doesn't he automatically get, if we give him a two, two and a half percent increase or two percent? It does go on though. It goes on his, but he doesn't cash him anyway. He doesn't. That's fine. He said he doesn't want his check. Oh, he's a good man. Conservation Commission. Conservation Commission. Same. So it's the same as last year. He's just breaking down some expenses that would be paid out of a uh, uh, Good. Historical Commission. Historical Commission. Ag Commission. Computer IT. Yeah, just just um, bring me up to speed here a little bit on that historical commission with the move from um, the corners to up to the new town building that falls under the historical commission right not historical society uh, the two separate two the separate, separate yeah. and the society is not a town the society is a we don't fund that. Right. The historical Commission is there. It's. So is the Historical Commission the oversight group on this process? Because they are a town oversight entity? Of, of which process? Oversight of, of the, town. the historical the society. use of the new town. town yeah, they've been involved. The municipal building committee has been meeting jointly with the Historical Commission. Yeah. Uh, really throughout this, pretty much throughout the entire process. Right. But they're, they're not overseer of historic society. They're two separate entities. Yeah. Right. They're not the boss of the historical society. But, right. but they, they seem to be, they, they're, they're often, uh, I'll say called in, that's the right word, 
when we needed to find out, well, oh, in order to keep the historic nature, what do we need to do? The historic clear sort of the font of that knowledge. Right. Right? right? And then they sign off on those kinds of things. Okay. They apply for, you know, yep. for, for things like getting our test town center recognized as a, a historic place historic and stuff. Area. But, it, but I'm not sure that they're the the boss and everybody in the yeah. sense yeah. that it the historical society is their their own group yeah. and they're in charge of the physical objects that they've preserved. Yeah. Right. People have given to them this historical commission or something completely separate. Right. But right. you understand where I'm going with yes. the questioning. Is you, want, that, you want to ask the question or you want me to ask the question? Go ahead. You, you, you. No, I'm just I'm just, yeah. you know they they're in a building they were in a or they're in a building right now. So who supports that financially? The center school? Yeah. Um, they paid, they're, they're responsible for all utilities of that building. Okay, so um, they come into this building. Yeah. That, they pay a share of that, so, percentage so, of that? So that arrangement is, needs to be determined in the next okay. month or so. Mm -hmm. but, but they get, I think they get income from other sources. Yeah, the people don't. Well, they're, they're, they're donating and they're, there's, I think, state or, or whatever grants that they get, too. I was just they wondering if all of a sudden we're going to start our electric bill, our heating bill, yeah. or you start you start taking a percentage of that and give that to your tenants. Yes. They, they, they need to be responsible yeah, for it. Right. Yeah, for some portion of, of utility costs, sure. Yeah. That, well, that's my opinion. But I don't have a vote. Having not discussed it with other select board members, I, I don't really know, but I, right. I think of opinion that they should be. Or, or My son pays rent at home. Okay? Well, yeah, that, yeah that's, that's why I'm just saying. I mean, right. we, you know, we can call it whatever we want, but when people, you know, call them squatters, you know, you know, but I just, I just assume that, you know, they're paying their bills right now for that building, and then when they transfer over to this building, they'll take a percentage of that, right. yeah. however that gets figured out. Yeah, that tenancy needs to be defined. Yeah. You know, I think obviously as we go down, uh, the new building is going to have a significant position in town. Right. And when it's up and running and going, it just seems to me to be a much cleaner transition if just rubber stamp, historical commission, rubber stamps, the historical society access into the building and somehow has an oversight. Um, responsibility. It, it, it would just seem to me to be cleaner. Um, not that it would change anything uh, uh, because you have a, a private group in a public building, even though there are private group, but still, it's still a private group. So, anyway, just a thought. There is an option that I don't, I don't know if they would agree well, is for the historic society to be, be owned by the town and the town would actually have ownership of everything they have. That happens in other communities, other towns. That would be. But then we're liable for all their expenses. Sure we are. And. Yeah. 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 I don't yeah. know about that. Yeah. 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 I mean, they have insurance on, on all their artifacts in there. They have a security system. They pay yeah. for regular maintenance. Maintaining of that. Yeah. In our building, you know, we, that's something they do. Liability insurance on all <coughs> their merchandise and mm -hmm. artifacts in there. Their insurance cover all of that. No, I understand that. We're trying to accommodate them in the, in the town hall, you know. Yep, I think it's a great idea. I think it's where they, yeah. it's it's where they should be. It's where they should be. Yeah. All right. Any other questions? No. Nope. What is Connect CTY? The roll call system. Roll call system. We know those. Yeah, we know those. I Who's that lady on the Who's other end? I <laughs> love them, honestly. <laughs> I want to. I want to meet the the one from the electric company that calls. Oh, oh yeah. Boy. Okay, Good insurance and benefits. Insurance and benefits. Oh, wow. That's a beauty. So property liability insurance. Um, I should know this a little. Is that one that's yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, it's just an estimate right now. Hopefully, we'll have these costs refined a little bit. But um, one of the things that happens with with Maya and our our property liability insurance 
in a workers' compensation insurance is that, so, so for example, our FY18 costs, what they would bill us for is $59,000. You can see we don't appropriate $59,000. Um, we get something called reward, cre reward credits and participation credits, which are credits against the bill. Um, one of them is for um, long-term customers, long-time customers, loyalty credits, um, free participation credits, depending just on- Just reduce the rate. Don't give us, that's just nonsense. On, on insurance work shop, yeah, yeah, all insurance and dividend credits. There's all sorts of credits that go, go on. Yeah. Um, so we don't know what those are every year. If, if you don't use it, the, the rate goes down. Oh, if you use it, the rate goes up. Oh, well, we certainly use them every year, but um, so really, I'm just guessing 5% is going to be the longevity. Longevity. Yeah, longevity. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Group health, that's a Group health insurance. Just, well, just, to put, just to put this in perspective, approximately 17, not that it's a huge amount, but 17,000 of this will be transferred to the Enterprise Fund because we have subscribers from the Water Department um, through the Enter Enterprise Fund, the Water Department and Enterprise oh, Fund responsible. pays out um, insurance for, for its employees. So it's going to be around $50,000. $50,000 increase, that's still pretty good. This would have been, so, so this increase represents a 4.5% increase in premiums, which would have been 9% increase in premiums if Hampshire County Insurance Trust hadn't made plan changes. So this is this is less than what it would have been. So is that meaning that when they make plan changes, does that mean that we have a lesser uh, coverage right now for uh, your deductible went up and yeah. your co pays co-pays, co -pays. Co -pays and increased drugs, drugs well. yeah. went up. And it was uh, for the first time they imposed a, a deductible on retail purchase of pharmaceuticals. We don't have a general deductible. There's no deductible on the health insurance costs up front, but there is a deductible on the drugs. And that's the first, this is the first time they've had that. If you buy them locally, they, that, they're trying to encourage you to use your mail order service. Yeah. And, we, and it also increased, part of this increase is because last year we added two employee plus ones for the town and one single and one family for the school. And I normally calculate two family plans each year as additions. So it's there's more people on the plan than there has been. That the was you know, maybe my next question, because I was the numbers weren't quite that or something. We we don't ever take anybody off. We keep we keep putting people well, on or? I mean we do have people who leave or whatever, but yeah. generally they're replaced with somebody who wants to want it. So embarrassing, right? Yeah. You know, uh, R Ronnie Beller gets off as a single and Chucky comes on as a single, so it's a wash. <laughs> well, in that case, we lucked out. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, but, uh, but uh, Ronnie goes on Medicaid, Medi medics, so we so pay a You have to pay a percentage of that. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> which is nowhere, which, which is nowhere near the cost of, it, of what uh, his right. health plan right. was. Right. Right. Yeah. It's the cost of doing business. It is. I mean, it's it's Wait. still a, a very good plan. It's just you're paying out of pocket a little bit more for the plan. But it's still a very good plan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so here's the bad news. news. No, that was bad. That was good news. <laughs> that, was <laughs> that was the good news. So because so whenever a town makes or a town or city, whenever a municipality makes changes to its health plan, Mass General Law 32B requires that the town share in 25% of the air quotes savings and pass those along to all subscribers. We don't have, we don't have any, we're not saving money. We the saving? Yeah, we're not saving any money. <laughs> however, however, <laughs> it's how they calculate the savings. So in this case, savings are costs that we never paid. So we need to share, so we need to make a payment to, the, to our subscribers of around, it's gonna be around $7,000. Mm -hmm. Spread out among all the subscribers. 
So you mean due to the increase included in, in here. not included in there, it would be in the district notice. So I'm confused. Well, so I would I would, say, I would yeah. ask this question: Was this the savings in the air quotes right? Yeah. Was that more than seven thousand dollars? Yes. Yeah. Okay. We only That's all. I just want to make sure we're right. upside down we on this thing by trying to save some money yeah. that ended up costing us money in the long run. Right. So we said. When did this come about? This the law. Well, I, the, I'm assuming the law was in effect for mm -hmm. ever and ever, however long it's been. But at the personnel committee meeting, we didn't talk about this oh, because oh, now we're going to turn around and give seven thousand dollars back to the, all the subscribers. Yep. And we were concerned about how much to give them as a cola, and one of the factors was the fact that their health insurance went up or their deductible went up. Right. Their co-pays well, and yeah. their premiums went up. Yeah, and their premiums, that's right. I said that. Before. Right, right. But their premiums. The they're premium. paying more. Their town is paying a little less than it would if they had not paid more. That savings, mm. that savings, <laughs> savings, that's the, that's the savings. savings <laughs> See, that we will never point. realize right. is cap you can calculate that in 7% to 25%. 25% rather, which is $7,000, has to be returned to the subscribers. Um, How many subscribers are there? Process. Uh, 26, we have 26 active. 20, 26 active, I think. 26 active. And it all depends on what kind of a program you have. You know, are you a family or? Right, right. Well, so, the savings is, because you had to calculate what the plan would have been if we didn't make any changes versus right. the plan right. with the changes. And that's the savings, but it's still, we're paying more yeah. either we way. Didn't, we're paying. We, we didn't have a choice about right. the plan, the no Hampshire right. Health, whatever, they made the changes, not the town. Correct. Thank you, Massachusetts legislature. So, so now we, we still, but now we still got to cough up seven thousand. Yep, and now we have to go through a, a process with our one union, teachers union, teachers union, and a, and a retiree representative to figure out how the savings are are giving up. From the, from the town standpoint, we know what the bottom line is. Yeah, and I have some comments on that, but. It's it's not it's not a great process. It's not a great outcome. But it would have been. If I'm going to ask this question. Though, we're, we're paying. We're paying. We're, we're still not upside down on this, though. The town is right. still paying less right. than we would have if we were. Right. So right. so and you knew that going more. into the cold of discussion. Yes. Okay. Yes. We were not, or I was not aware of this seven thousand dollars that was going to have to be paid out. But that's the way it is. But we also said at that meeting that we weren't the cola wasn't really related to uh, the increase that people are going to have in their health costs. And we could sort of it, it, it is and it isn't. You can you can say it it right. wasn't, but it is. Well, it, it, the topic certainly came up, but there was strong opinions expressed that that's really a separate thing right. that shouldn't really affect. That's about cost And then there's uh, also people who yeah. aren't on the health insurance. Right. Who won't I was get thinking that of that. Benefit. I thought of that. Well, it wasn't because I opened my mouth. Didn't get the what, do you, what do you do? The, the people that that aren't on this health plan are going to get nothing. They're just going to get the cola that we gave. Right. And my employer doesn't share that with me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> people at this table might look at it and say, yeah. <laughs> you're getting it back. Yeah. Where are we? Uh, where are we in regards to uh, offering a stipend? If it's not a stipend, offering a uh, yeah, a payout. A payout to yeah. tell take Can't remember which meeting. Two employees, uh, if they do not take any option, are we anywhere with that? I feel like I've heard about that. No, not that the meeting. I'm trying to remember if it, was, if it was select board or if it was a frontier meeting. Frontier, 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 frontier does that, does that. right? Uh, but they, it's like a thousand dollars, isn't it? Thousand bucks, yeah. Mm -hmm. Which the plan caught a, a family plan cost us 
15, 16,000? Well, there's 1,700 a year, a uh, month for family plan. Mm -hmm. So it's right. more than that. So the thing but that we so could take is how many people don't sign up for health insurance. We could have to pay out $1,000 for each of those, and we don't know that anybody else would drop. No, so no. We, it's, okay. a, it's, a, it's a discussion that we have, that we need. As to long have. as that's yeah. as long as that's you know, there's a spouse that's able to pick it up somewhere. Right. It is a win-win unless right. their costs are astronomical. You are biting into that premium cost that you have. Yeah, exactly. So whether it's a thousand dollars, you're not going to be kept whole. They're not going to give you what's the incentive right. of paying yeah. these, you know that much money for the, there isn't. So but they're going to no. give you a percentage of that. Where that's the incentive. That's the incentive. No, I, I completely understand. I, I'm just looking at, like, what if we were to enact this today? I don't know how many people who are on this list would actually drop our health insurance. And go I mean, not many. Mm -hmm. I think, I, well, what it is, it's, a, it's an educational thing. You've got to take a look. What does your spouse have? I mean, what type of insurance is it? I mean, it's not an right. easy decision to make. It, it, yeah, you know, so you just can't it, offer it, it a, a, you know, have a meeting and say, here, make a choice. You just, you can't do that. It's no, I, 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 we need more information. Well, how, how many current employees do not have insurance? Through well, us. I through us. Can't. Um, school, the school is the hard one. I think, it, as far as town office employees, there's. Town employee, school. Um, two, I think there's only two that don't take insurance. That are eligible as part, of, but at the school, I don't know what that. I think it's a lot more at the school that don't. Pay I think the survey is in order. So this twenty six yeah, includes the school. The yeah. twenty six yeah. includes the school. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. So where are we going to get the seven thousand, or is that in the budget budget? Well, that's what we need to talk about. <laughs> I mean, I typically like if we have one time cost. I mean, my typical recommendation is that it would come from free cash. Uh, yeah. But that's yeah. something we'll talk about when we try to wrap okay. it. All right. All up. On the wrap up, moving on. Yeah. Okay. Medicaid, Medicare. Medicare and Social Security. That is a percentage of whatever the <coughs> payroll is going to be. So um, I, I just threw in 30000 That's what we paid last year. But we'll have to calculate payroll, and it's 1.45% of payroll goes to Social Security. Medicare so um, that may change depending on how much the ending payroll ends up being after payroll after the personnel committee recommendation okay. life insurance is the same unemployment stays the same yeah. Franklin County retirement was up. Almost seven percent. Looks like a trend. Yeah, well it's probably you know that. Gonna yeah. keep right on going up. Yeah. Yep, so the baby boomers have gone. They give us a break if we pay it all at once. Which we do. Was there was always one of that line. So, you know, 
you're, you're paying, everybody's paying 1950, 1950, and all of a sudden you get a $26. You know? <coughs> no, we're out of whack. You know, I know it's a, an average and median and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah it's a medium. Well, we, we talked about taking the high and the low and throwing them out, and, and in some cases we did. Well, some years ago, it was Deer, Deerfield was in there, so. Uh, yeah. In this case, it's Hatfield. Yeah. What's your problem? Well, they have, uh, so they have CNS, right? So they got all land the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's that's they're not spending their own money. Uh, that's right. They're minting it over there. Deerfield is stuck with COLA plus steps this year. They're all like 4 or 5% mm -hmm. across the board. Yeah. yeah, so just an update on that, the person up, they decided against steps. moving steps. forward with the, with the step system. Kind of for that reason, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. The step system really it's takes away flexibility to <coughs> did adjust on conditions. For, for this town, for the, 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 the this side town side. and the side, you know, the number of employees we have, it's way too complicated for, it just didn't make a lot of sense to us. Yeah, it's a pain in the neck to, you know, every year there's uh, three or four adjustments that we have to make, but that's easier than having this step process. <coughs> yeah, that if you're going to have a step process, you best have something to support that right. in the way of, of who's doing what, when, and how well are they doing it. Yeah, and there's and who do you compare them to? And who do you compare them to? And then you also have to keep those steps updated all the yeah. time. Yeah. If if we had, I don't know, four or five times more employees than we have now, it would be a lot. It would be, believe it or not, easier to do it. But because there aren't that many employees, it's very difficult. But why do we? Why, I ask this question every year. Why do we? Every year we always have that three or four employees that we have to adjust. We look at. I mean, these are the, these are the jobs. These are the people that we look at. Right. I said it last year. What? Okay, is this going to be the last year we're going to do this? No. Because, and I, I don't I, understand that. I, 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 I think it's because there's somebody in there that's throwing us out of whack. Some town, you mean? Right. Yeah. Since I've been here, the year before I got here, we've used three different standards of measurement. Right. Looking at looking at. I, I believe before I got here, we looked at FERCOG. Which is the first year. Yeah, the next, my first year here, we looked at some Collins Center salary yeah. data, which was different towns. And now this year, we tried to try to do a more objective process and, and get towns that we can compare to. And the intent is that we keep using these same towns. Um, but we're, the standards of measurement were changing. So and the towns were changing. So yeah, there was a lot of variability. Okay, so I'll ask the question again. <coughs> <laughs> is this going to be the last year that we're going to be doing this? No. And that part, I'll, 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 yes I'll just say it's not going to ever, I will never be satisfied. Well, let me you say know? yes and no, because I think we're really happy with this set of towns. Yeah. That, that we don't, going through there, we don't have the same kind of, like, what, you comparing to Deerfield? Well, that's, yeah. that's a completely Cambridge, different job. Cambridge, you know, the, the and, yeah, no, we're and, and the rest yeah. of Franklin yeah. County, kind of similarly. So in the sense that we got something that we're a lot happier with, I'd say no, there's probably not going to be as much volatility as we've seen in the past. Yeah. Um, but yes, it certainly could happen that when we go through here, we'll find that uh, or we'll find a, a position or two. That's, well, that's what I'm saying. We're chasing, our, we're chasing our tail. Because well, no. other towns are doing the same thing. No, but for the last yeah, three probably. years, we're chasing a different tail each time. And now we're just chasing Hopefully we got this. And I, and I applaud trying to do this. I mean, I think it's, I think it's great. I just don't, it, I, I'm, I'm the dumb one because I, it doesn't make sense to me. Why, why we have to chase it every the year? The alternative is to do something like steps. And, yeah. and that's, yeah. that's a And very that got complicated. too complicated. complicated. They got complicated fast. And the towns who had tried it, there's at least one town in here who had tried it to set up steps. Charl and was it Charlemont? Was it Shelburne? Or, uh, or Shelburne. 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 And we got a note from him that said it turned into a nightmare. Yeah. yeah. Shelburne. We used to do steps a long time ago here, but yeah, they everyone got to the top of the grades and yep. they never adjusted the, the steps. Right. So everyone was always at the top and they never got raises anymore, which I don't know, maybe that's a good thing. But the other <laughs> thing that can cause 
these to change is when someone leaves a job and they go out and reanalyze, well, maybe we need to up that in order to bring attract. So, Talent you know, they may, there may be some adjustments still because they're, they're changing the amount that they're offering. Because well, I mean, we're, we're using job titles as being the be all end all. Is every yes. town? No, you know, and they are all equivalent. Well, you know, and and their 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 duty, like the water superintendent, was a classic example for us. There, were, I think there were only three or four other towns of the ten that we surveyed that had a water superintendent, and we were way low. Yeah, but, but there were you, water superintendents Hatfield, working 40 hours a week. That's right. Hatfield was making a hundred thousand right. dollars a year or something. But his you have to figure out what their duties are. The one in Hatfield, his duties were, you know, a lot of other things besides the water. He, he, everything got billed to the, his water department salary, but he was doing a lot of other things. Was so, he also highway superintendent? Yes, I know. <laughs> that's he, that's he, you know that, just, that, that one has to get thrown out. So, so, but, I, but your assumption is wrong that the job title was the be all and all. Because on, and whenever we saw things that looked out of whack, we certainly asked more questions right. mm -hmm. about what is that person responsible Why is it Janet did a lot of research on you know, trying to figure out what each, each town's uh, person, what their responsibilities were. And it, it it got pretty confusing, but it's still easier than trying to do the steps. But it's an ex it's an exercise that you that you do. I don't know why we do it every year. That's that's well, that's all. I, I you know the, I, the other thing I thought of was two years ago we I think it was the police sergeant and the yep. the foreman on the highway we department and one other guy. Mm -hmm. This year, you know, we they're in the. Uh, Realm of the mess, and they're in the where they're supposed to yep. be. This year it was uh, town clerk, uh, assistant, a, or a, a, a administrative assistant, and somebody else. And, and what? Go ahead. Go, go ahead. Actually. And I think every year it's going to be. It might be three or four, but it's not going to be the same ones that you did the year. Can before. I ask what the criteria is to where you where you recommend a change? What percentage? If we were like three percent, which would have whacked with the other ten towns. What else are you recommending here for changes? I don't no. see that anywhere. Which it was somewhere. I saw it on the pass with the email that I got. Yeah, I didn't see it on this. I didn't see it here, and I don't have a printing. Yeah, well, that's a different one than what's on here. What's today? That was twenty-seven eighteen was the date. Yeah, it's, a, it's one page back. It's a library. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it was before. That's based on the memo. Yes. Yes. All right, here you go. Yeah, administrative assistant went from $18 to 1920 Town clerk from 2173 to 2260 and the assistant treasurer collector from 2091 to 2245. So how much more is this costing per year? Well, we figured that out too. It was on there somewhere, wasn't it? The, the cola is going to be 14,000 or something. I know, cola, but it's always for these three positions. Oh. Did you figure that out? I don't know. That goes with I, don't, I don't know if we figured it out, but it's not. It's not that much. No, it wasn't that much. Uh, in most cases, it's a dollar uh, up to a dollar fifty an hour. So it's a few percent. What's this all do to the bottom line, Brian? Well, it increases a little bit. <laughs> the what? Yes, it increases a little bit. Okay. Well, how's that? Uh, how's that magic number? All of them are magical. <laughs> Um, I'm waiting for a couple more budgets, so we should have the we should have the full picture for our next meeting. That's where we are waiting on Franklin Tech, mm -hmm. South County Senior Center. Um, and we're just, waiting for the Frontier and uh, Wayland Elementary budget hearings to happen. South, South County just changed, uh, changed directors or something. Their yeah, directors she, leaving. She resigned. She resigned. She resigned. Oh, she took another job though. Mm -hmm. Palmer. Yeah. 
Oh, that's public information. It was on. It was on the radio. All right, good. Did you say a major elementary budget? It was on the radio. That's the reason I know. Their, their budget hearing, where the where the school committee is going to have their hearing, vote on it is yeah. March twelfth. Oh, I thought they were did that. No. Can I ask, how did you come up with a 2.25% increase? Did you, did you average all these seven, or how did you come up with that? We looked at what the other... We looked at what other towns were doing. There was some that we didn't have information on, some we did. Uh, some were going to 2%, some were going to 2.5%. Right. Um, then the third talk was going with something a little bit higher. So we... we, we we're thinking, you know, I, I wanted two percent. The rest of them wanted two point five, so we so settled we on two and a quarter. Well, see, how, see how much pull he has? Yeah, because and I don't have a lot of pull. He, he really got. I just complain a lot. Well, we know that. Yeah. Okay. I just well, wonder yeah. how you come up with that. It was okay. a compromise. compromise. Right? That's what it was. Okay. All right. In all honesty, Brian, anything? Um, any items that we need to? Discussed that we have not discussed. No, all right, we're, we're all right where we should be in terms of the schedule. So, what school was it? Yeah, right. That school hasn't come in yet. We, we don't have anyone at Smith Folk. No. Uh, and I've told the enrollment for, for Franklin Tech hasn't changed, so it shouldn't swing. Shouldn't there swing. There shouldn't be any huge increases. Um, any anticipation of anyone coming asking for money so that we have not had? Not seen yet. Yeah, we'll have some, we'll have some things to discuss. Okay. Um, so we haven't seen, we haven't seen anything from the like the record, the primary thing. Right? You're right. That's next. Okay, that's next. That's, okay. that's the next uh, our next meeting. Next meeting. We'll be cultural, recreational. Right. So who else, who else do we have there? Who else do we have left? South County Senior Center's there. Um, Right and I think Beach, we have, oh, sorry, and we have public health as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Tricon Beach. Board of Health. Um, oh, that's not a campaign. Does SCEMS come in again, or are they, uh, I know they've changed. We usually ask them to come in once, yeah. Luckily, their budget was reduced pretty well. Cultural Recreation Services, Tricon Beach, Recognition Cemetery, Library, which come tonight, South Carolina Senior Center. So, so the public health ones, water health, health agent, solid waste, hazardous waste. Brian, will the next budget version include all the capital expenditures, including the ones that aren't decided, like the command vehicle? Um, I was like, what's we talk, Yeah, we'll, we'll have to just go through the list of all the capital expenditures and figure out what we want to do. But I assume you'll be giving us a version that it either does or does not include Right, and then we'll have to decide whether or not to leave it in or put it in. Right. So, will the next version be in, or will we be putting it in if we so decide? Um, the capital budget is separate from the operating budget. I know that. Um, so we'll have to decide whether we want to put them in or not, or, or what. Uh, essentially, essentially, the select board will put those items on the agenda on the warrant, and the finance committee would recommend or not recommend. Right. I see. Oh, so the the command vehicle and the new cruiser are going to be on it? That hasn't been decided yet. All right. Well, and there, there may be two other, I'm just calling capital items coming up that haven't been decided yet. One is municipal building committee is going to need to decide on the town hall whether we want we need it, there's some money or not. And the other is the, is the water merger. Mm -hmm. yeah. The uh, district and department. That does get proposed. Well, I mean, if you look at that right now. I mean, where has that been? How can you bring that up at this hour and say that this is we're going to be asking for money for that? There's been no, no discussion about that in dollars and everything. You Aren't just they, try to get a committee together. We have a committee. There is 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 a committee. Well, there could be a committee, but you haven't come to come finance, yet. finance committee right. yet. And we're you know we're a, a month away from you know a month and a half away from making decisions. That's that's like when, you know, the town hall committee came to us two weeks before the meeting and said, "Here's we, you know, here we go. Here's the number. I think it's going to happen." Yeah, I, we, we don't know today. Well, well I'm just saying right now, it's not going to happen if if you come in, you know, at the eleventh hour, well, you're not going to get the support. Yeah, you're not going to get the support. I'm not saying it shouldn't happen. I'm just saying you're 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 already lost a year. 
We'll see what happens. Well, we will see. well, I'll tell you what's going to happen right now. It's not going to happen. I think they know that, though. Right. I don't, I don't think they have the vision to just happen. No. Just right. So you, just, you can't say you're going to come to the town because that's just not going to happen. You're not, you're not going to get the support. I don't think that. Uh, well, not in this budget year. Well, no. I mean, a selectman just across the table just said we're going to come, we're going to be asking for we it. We didn't know. When we first started the budget process, we we didn't know whether we need additional money. And things are, are changing in the last several weeks. Things are changing in the building, and there's more changes coming. And we have to decide, do we do all that? Oh, no, that, that's fine. That's that, that, all. He's talking, 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 talking water. Tell him all. He's talking water. Tell him all. The water's not going to do anything. That's not going to happen. What are we talking about? Well, okay, I don't know. I don't know what we're talking about. Okay. Okay. Motion we adjourn. Okay. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye.